Hello YouTube, I am Shreyans Jain, pursuing my M.Tech from Barnett University. This video is about Jinsim, a Python library which is used for topic modeling. My motivation to make this video is to make people understand what is Jensen topic modeling and methods of topic modeling which can be used with Jensen. There are many resources available on internet but are not organized properly. In this tutorial video, I will try to organize so organize it so that it will be easy to understand the concepts of Jensen topic modeling and methods involved in it to analyze our data. So let's begin with it. What is Jensen? Jensen is made by Redim Rorek. I am sorry if I don't pronounce the name properly. And it is a topic modeling tool as I mentioned earlier. He made this in 2008 which was generating a short list of the most similar articles from the given documents. Hence, Jensen is abbreviation of generate similar. History of Jensen In 2011, Jensen got its GitHub page. I will be linking all the uh, links in the description. And in 2013, Jensen got its logo and website design. This is the logo of Jensen and the, dis and the link of the page will be you can find in the description. Before Jensen, different latent semantic methods like PLSA were used. PLSA was a low level implementation of topic modeling which used Fortran language to work. So it was a tedious job to work with it. Jensen extract semantic topics from given set of documents. Now what do you mean by semantic here? Semantic means similar or related meaning topic and it does it efficiently and precisely. Efficiently as in it can find the semantics between two topics as a computer does and hence it is faster and precisely why because humans have the tendency to understand what topic is talking about what and hence we can find it using Jensen. Before we go further on Jensen, let's talk about what is topic modeling. What is topic modeling? It is the process of extracting topics from the given documents. It is a statistical model for discovering the abstract topics that occur in collection of documents. It is frequently used in text mining tools for discovering of hidden semantic structures. That is, if the document contains 90% cat words and 10% dog words, then we can say that the document is about cat. Very similarly, there is something called as soft assignment, which is also a modern topic, topic modeling method. Here, in soft assignment, we assign tags to, to, to topic. For example, if the document is about customer service and it is 30% about product, 
itself 40% about legal issues and 30% about service provided for the product then we can say that the topic has three total tags that is product review legal issues and service feedback this helps in understanding the category of topic and it is easy for others to understand what is to be done later on of these topics so basically here we here we are just assigning different tags to a topic we can also see these examples in uh, in times of india website where the articles are tagged with different tags such as crime sports entertainment and etc we use topic modeling for understanding hidden context of the topic for example there is a document which has different milk producing animals in in it in the content itself there are animals who produced milk basically so we can we can't say that the topic is about actually is is not about actually animals but here the topic is about different types of milk topic modeling are used for relating two documents as well for example a very a very basic example which you might not even encounter in your daily life uh, a topic about pen and another topic about paper now the relation between these two topics is that you cannot use you cannot uh, like uh, that pen is used to write on paper and without paper you cannot use pen that is in simple words we can find similarities and relations between two different topics contextually it is a way to analyze large volume of unlabeled text hence it is also called as unsupervised approach to perform semantic analysis the topic produced by topic modeling techniques are cluster of similar words and words that frequently occur together using contextual clues topic models can contact words with similar meaning sorry connect words with similar meanings and distinguish between uses of words with multiple meanings in technical terms topic model captures the intuition in a mathematical framework which allows examining a set of documents and discovering based on the statistics of the words in each document topic modeling is referred as probabilistic topic models since it refers to syntactic algorithm statistic algorithm for discovering the latent semantic structure of an extensive text body the best part of using text modeling is that it does not load all the data into the ram at once like any other machine learning algorithm does and hence it can even work on continuously incoming data now let's talk about categories in topic modeling there are two basic categories in topic modeling the first category is basic methods and the second category is 
topic evaluation model in basic methods there are four methods that are latent semantic analysis lsa probabilistic latent semantic analysis plsa latent dialectic allocation lda correlated topic model ctm in topic evaluation model there are five such methods topic over time tot dynamic topic models dtm multi scale topic tomography mtt dynamic topic correlation detection dtcd detecting topic evaluation dte now talking about the first category in this every document is given corpus is related by histogram containing the occurrence of the word now this histogram is modeled by distribution over certain number of topics these distributions is identified by the words in the vocabulary now we know the distribution based on these distributions a low rank representation that is a basic representation of this high dimensional histogram can be obtained from each document in previous slide i mentioned something about handling continuously incoming data so as time passes topic in a document corpus evolves now if you use basic method to deal with it modeling topics without considering time will lead to confound topic discovery that mean that means uh, you won't be able to identify the actual context of the topic the model will get confused whether the topic is talking about this thing or the new thing that has just arrived hence evolutionary topic model is used now topic evolution model can disclose important hidden information in the document corpus allowing identification of topics with time and checking their evolution on time can be also done for more details on these methods i may posting a, i may post a separate video um, and you can to to read right now you can follow a link in the description which will redirect you to a survey paper from where you can get more details on these topics let's talk about some core concepts of ginsem now we saw that ginsem is a tool for discovering the semantic structure of documents by examining the pattern of words ginsem accomplishes this by taking a corpus here corpus is a collection of text documents using corpus ginsem produces vector representation of text in the corpus then this vector representation can be used to train models models are different algorithms which are used to create different representation of data now this data are more semantic in nature these three core concepts are key to understand how ginsem works now before we move to understanding the core concepts in detail i would request you to download ginsem package using one of the command conda install and pip install both will work on anaconda prompt and if you are not using anaconda then you can use command prompt to install install ginsem using pip install command further in this tutorial 
you will understand what is corpus vector and model in detail we will also see what are the different transformation techniques and similarity techniques and which model can be used for what purpose we will be also talking about vector representation i would recommend you to use jupyter notebook to run the code that i will be showing you in the next part if you guys have any doubt leave a comment and i'll try to solve your query if you like the video don't forget to like the video give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you